Hello and welcome back to the Billiard Learning Center in Mountain Home, Arkansas. I'm Bob Nunley, your PBI instructor. Tonight we're going to talk about stroke. There are only two reasons you really ever miss a shot. You either miss a line or you miss stroke. Most people align a whole lot better than they think they do, but stroke is a different story. So let's go through the stroke that we teach in the SPF family of instructors, the set, pause, finish stroke. Yes, it's a little simple, but simple is, is really better. That keep it simple Sam thing is, is really true to heart. The harder you make something, the harder it is to master it. If you're in martial arts and you perfect one punch, you do that punch a thousand times and you get to where that punch is just automatic. You'll never change that punch. Well, we're going to do the same thing with the stroke. We're going to learn a set pause, finish stroke with a pinned elbow, and we're going to learn how to burn that stroke in. The first thing we're going to learn about stroke really is more covered in the routines video, but you have to decide how many warm-up strokes you're going to take. Try to keep that consistent. If you like taking 10, take 10, to take 10 every time. If you like taking 2, take 2 every time. But learn to get some consistency in the number of warm-up strokes you have. After your warm-up strokes, we're going to go into a position called the set. All right, now here is the set. The first thing we're going to do is get our alignment, fall down on the ball. I like to take two warm-up strokes and then a short one. Now, there's my set. I'm going to hold on that cue ball for at least one second. When I'm doing my drills, I'm going to hold there for two. And there's a reason for that, and I'll explain that in a little bit. So, two long warm-up strokes, a short one, set, backstroke slowly to a pause. I'm going to hold that for two seconds, finish, and I'm going to hold that until all the balls quit rolling. Now, if you'll notice, my elbow didn't move. So, let's do that again. We're going to go find our alignment. Double check it, I like it. Set. Pause. Finish. Let's do it again. <clears throat> this will be the last one. We're going to find our alignment. Double check it, I like it. There's my two and my short set. Pause. Finish. Okay, now I'm briefly going to explain why each part of that stroke is so important. The set gives you a resting point. As long as your cue's moving, you need to have your eyes on that cue ball. When your cue stops, you can take your eyes to the object ball. So, when I'm doing my warm-up strokes, my too long and my short, then I keep my eyes trained on the cue ball. When I'm at rest or at a set on the cue ball, and my cue's not moving, then I can take my eyes to the object ball. That gives me a time to reaffirm my aim once again. Now, after the set, what we're going to do is take a real nice, slow, smooth back swing. If you take a fast backswing, it's easy to start getting the elbow out or your hand going one side or the other. A slow backswing will come back smooth and straight. So a slow backswing. Now at the end of that backswing, pause. The importance of the pause is that it gives your arm a point of rest. If you go back and forth too fast, then what's going to happen is your bicep which pulls your arm forward, and your tricep, which pulls it back, are going to both be trying to work at the same time. Well, if they both work at the same time, you're going to get this, or this. If only one is working, this muscle can only contract and bend that joint in one direction. So you'll get a nice, straight finish. Now, the finish. What we're going to do during the finish is, after we start our backstroke, nice, slow acceleration forward, and our elbow's going to stay still. And when we finish, we're going to finish with our forward hand 
in the same place every time. Now for some people it might be out in the air, for some people it may be a physical point on their chest. For me it's a physical point on my chest. My hand actually hits right on my pec and stops. So that's as simple as a stroke can get. Now a lot of people will tell me, oh I see Efren, he has this circular motion in his stroke and he shoots so well. Well you know what, if you've got 40 or 50 hours a week to practice that stroke, then great, emulate Efren's stroke. But you don't, most of us don't. Most amateur players do not have that kind of time. A lot of professional players don't have that kind of time. I've had a lot of people tell me, well, I don't know any pro players that have that kind of stroke. Niels Fagan is a prime example of somebody that has a great set, pause, finish stroke. If you'll watch Niels, even on his break, he has a tremendously long pause at the end of his backstroke when he breaks. Power and accuracy, and that's what that pause helps develop. So now we have that knowledge, we have that structured stroke, how are we going to develop that into a consistent stroke? One that we don't have to think about that happens every time. Well, I'm going to show you that right now. Now this is how I prefer to burn this stroke in. Set up two balls on paper hole reinforcements so that you have a straight in shot to the corner. Or to the side, it doesn't matter. Easy shot. When I come down to the table, I'm going to talk my way through every aspect of this stroke. Making the ball here is not important. What's important is grooving your stroke. So, here we go. I like my aim. Warm ups. Set. Pause. Finish. And freeze. Okay, the freeze allows me to evaluate things. I'll explain that on the next shot. Okay, we'll set the shot up again. I'm going to do the same thing. There's my line. I like that. Down on the table, I'm looking at it. I like it still. Warm up strokes. Set. Pause. Finish. Okay, now the evaluation thing. I had that paper hole reinforcement. I notice that my tip is down to the table, which means my elbow stayed pinned. And the, the cue shaft is right across the top of the paper hole reinforcement, which means I finished in a straight line. So why talk yourself through each stage of the stroke? Well, let's talk about how the brain learns first. When you hear something, you retain a small percentage of it. When you hear it and you say it, you retain a larger percentage of it. When you hear it and you say it while performing it, then you'll retain 90% of it. So, you're giving yourself a learning edge by talking yourself through each stage of this stroke. When you say set, pause, finish, and freeze, then your body and your mind understand that better if they're hearing it while you're doing it. So, you retain it quicker. What could take a year to burn in, all of a sudden happens in 30 to 40 days. In 30 to 40 days of doing this 20 to 30 times a day, you have a great stroke that stays with you through most times. Now, of course, it's just like anything new. After a while, it'll get to be completely natural. But at first, you're going to think about it a little bit, and that will mess with your concentration and your shot making ability. However, once you have it burned in, it'll come to your aid every shot. So that's really all we've got from the Billiard Learning Center today is that stroke. If you have any questions feel free to email me at bobnunley at rlnunley.com or get on the website or on my Facebook page and ask any question you need. Thanks very much and you have a great night.